All right, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to start playing with the camera a little bit um, to show you something that's a little bit of an issue right away. Um, so if I hit left, you can see I'm going towards this wall, but it, I'm actually not moving left on the screen. I, I'm moving left as if the camera was rotated a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. I'm going to click on the camera, and I'm going to make that the view. And so I'm going to try to rotate the screen. So I'm just rotating it by clicking and dragging the mouse. Um, and so that way left is actually to the left now. I'm also going to try to make it so that's even. So that's why I changed that to zero. Um, positioning this so I'm right in the middle can be a little tricky. So I'm just going to drag this as X. Yeah, that's what I want. So keep going. and. I'm going to just try to line up both sides. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to run it again just to make sure um, everything's good. So let me go back to perspective. I'm going to run it. And let's see that things look better. Yes, that looks much better. Now the sphere is moving in the directions that I expect it to. Okay. But we still would like the camera to actually follow us. Oh, another thing. Do, do I, I think the wall stopped me, right? Let me make sure that's true too. I think we did that in the last video. Yeah, it looks like they do. Uh, yeah. I was a little worried that I might be able to get over that wall if I go fast enough, but it looks like we are okay. Okay, so let's talk about uh, adding a script to the camera. Um, so I'm going to click on camera. And then the uh, inspector over here on the right, I'm going to add a component, which will be another script. Uh, I'll add a script, create script, and we'll call this camera controller. OK, so I'm going to open up the camera controller. It's pretty much the same as player controller, except for we're going to have two attributes this time. So camera controller dot attributes dot add. Uh, the first one is we need a reference to where the player is on the screen. And so this type is going to be an entity type, which represents pretty much anything that's uh, an object that you can see in uh, Play Canvas. And I'm not going to put a default for this. I'm going to essentially make a duplicate of this command. For my other attribute, this one will be named offset. And its type is going to be a vector 3, and it's going to represent how far away the camera is from the player uh, in terms of x, y, and z. Uh, when we initialize our camera controller, we're going to set this uh, object's offset to be the current entity, which is the camera's position. Uh, that difference, or its subtraction with this player, what its position is. So this is going to find out kind of the relative x, y, and z distance between the camera, which is the current entity, and where the player is. Now, when I write this dot offset and this dot player, that's going to be referring to whatever our two attributes are here. And we're going to see how that connects to the play canvas interface in just a minute. Now, the update function, what we're going to do is set this entity, which is the camera, its position to be this player's position. But instead of subtracting the offset, we're going to add it back on to sort of like go backwards. So we figured out we did a subtraction to find out how far away we are, and then we do the addition to actually put us a distance away uh, from the player. So I'm going to save this. And then if I go back to the rollerball tutorial, what I want to show you is on uh, the camera, on its script, if we click this button here called parse, it will show you the two attributes that we set in the script. And now we can actually make connections between elements in this uh, environment and the script. So where it says select entity, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on the player. So that makes the connection that I needed. Uh, the offset I don't have to set up because uh, that's being determined by the code. So I'm just going to leave those as zeros. 
All right, if all goes well, if I hit run, the camera should now follow the player. Oh, and of course, there's a mistake. <laughs> it says this dot entity dot get position is not a function. So let's see what mistake I made. Uh, why is this dot entity dot get position not a function? Oh, because I missed an I here. <laughs> That's why. Uh, all right, let's try it again. Make sure you save. Yep, here it is. And look, while I'm moving, the camera is following me around. Woohoo. All right, we are starting to get someplace. Um, another thing I would, I'll would i show you too um, is that on the player script, we can do the exact same thing. So if I parse it, you'll see the speed here. So in the interface, I can change the 10 to a 20. And then if I run it, I don't know if you can tell this, but I'm going considerably faster. So uh, it, it's starting to glitch out actually a little bit too. So um, you can edit the settings right here from the interface without having to go back to the code.